So, it's time. Today is servicing day. Let's get servicing. I've got me three boxes full of stuff. So, let's go and. What one should we do first? Jag, I think. Well, just letting it warm up a little bit now so the oil gets nice and hot. Um, <coughs> there's a little bit of a leak under here. I think it's gearbox oil. It might be water. Super tricky. So I'll clean it all up when I've done it all and see what happens really. Well, while I'm waiting for every drop of oil to come out, I thought <coughs> I'd get onto it and do the air filter. Now, gonna need. Is it some plug? Hello? That's my new one. <coughs> nice and clean, as you would expect. It's rougher. Now you've got to get the old one out. Means I'm doing a few screws. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven. Sweet. Hopefully, I'll make this run a bit smoother once all this is all done. Got to try and work out how to get the coolant out. Trying to work out how to get the bottom hose off around there somewhere. It's got a bit of way down there somewhere, but I'll have a look in a minute. Ooh, old one against new. <laughs> Don't know when this was last changed, to tell you the truth. I've not done anything since I've owned the car. But at least we're doing it now. Old one. New one. Nice and clean. There was quite a bit of dirt and sand actually. Sand all things in the bomber out filter box. But luckily the bit that matters at the top is completely clean. So that's all that matters I suppose. Sweet. Well, because the oil filter was all the way out there, you have no idea how much I had to struggle to get that off. I need a proper um, oil filter remover because this thing is a load of crap. It doesn't work very well at all. I just bent it when I was trying to get this filter off because it was tight. But to be honest, Whoever designed the fil the uh, engine and decided to put the oil filter there is an idiot. He's actually got a head shaped. He's actually got a head shaped like a dick, and it bleeds because it's infected. <laughs> but never mind. I've done it now. So let's put a new one on and uh, fill up the oil. Well, <coughs> it's got plenty of nice clean oil in it now. I always fill it up to the minimum mark first and then check it once it's down. Just uh, draining that all the coolant now. Slightly worrying that that's what has come out. It's only dribbling now, but I'm going to change the fuel filter and then I'll let the car off the jack and all the water because we're on a bit of a slant. It should come to the front of the radiator and we should get a bit more. Um, I was expecting it to overfill that 5 litre can, but it hasn't, so... Doesn't look very nice though, does it, eh? Sort of orange. Shouldn't be orange. I've never seen orange coolant before. Never mind. Smells bad as well. Probably never been changed. Oh well, let's go and do the fuel filter, shall we? Doesn't look like that's been changed in a while, does it? Huh. It's probably ain't been changed for ages. Oh well. Gonna be changed now. Well, that's that all done now. So I've put the antifreeze in, but it ain't taken a lot. That is all that came out of it. I couldn't get any more, any more than that out of it. I don't know how much it's supposed to take. I was expecting it to take about six or so liters, but you know, obviously it hasn't. It's, that's what came out, and that's what's gone in. Um, I've let it all through. The heaters are blowing hot. 
heaters are definitely blowing nice and warm. Yeah, they're quite hot, so it's bled through. Just can't work out why it didn't, why it weren't a lot in there, but maybe it doesn't, maybe it only takes about four litres, and you know, I didn't look up to see how much it took, so. Um, but that says min there, so it's just below the minimum mark, so I'm going to top it up now. And that's, that, that's this one done. I'll move over to the Land Rover. It's running sweet though, sounds nice now. Yeah, it's running really sweet. If I don't jinx it though. Let's see if I can do it with my left hand. Probably going to spin it everywhere now. Man. All right, so where am I at now? I'm on the Discovery, obviously. I've already got the oil out, <clears throat> which is very black. Loads of oil, black as hell, as you would expect from a diesel. But I didn't show you the oil that come out of Jag. That was just as black. That was petrol, so that shouldn't have been that black. Obviously, it was I did spill a little bit in the process. However. However, I have noticed, do you remember when I put some more coolant in there, that's what's gone again, so it must have another leak somewhere. That, that's not leaking though, the repair that I done a few weeks ago is not leaking, so I don't know what where my other leak is, but oh well. Anyway, uh, I must do a video on that, I'll do that, I'll do that after I've done this. So, I've got the new oil filter on, the new one, there's a, there's a new oil filter, now that's the main one. There's also a primary filter, which goes in there. So I've got to be careful with this one, because last time, those bolts down there, they stripped out properly, and there was nothing holding them in. So I put some of those in there, just ordinary bolts, tap them out a bit bigger, put 13mm bolts in there. There's the cap, it goes on the top, and over here, there's the little filter, the primary filter. My new one. <coughs> new filter and a new O ring to go around the top of the cap. Lovely. So I'm going to put that on. And then all I've got to do after that is put oil in the engine, uh, put the fuel filter on, which is here. But what I'll do is I'll take the bottom hose off to let the coolant drain out and I'll put the fuel filter on while I'm waiting for the coolant to drain out, see? Lovely. Right, let's go and put this filter on then. Alright, what a nightmare it's turning out to be so far. Guess what all this is, it's all on the floor down here. Yep, that's my new coolant that I just put in and just bled through. Yes. I thought I would try to utilize the bleed nipple on this top hose but when I did it, well this is stupid design How, why the hell they would make a design like this I have no idea someone's putting up stupid oil filters in the wrong place this is supposed to be inside and there's a screw that I can't find now I've probably eaten it because I'm starving I've been out here since six o'clock in the morning doing this that's the time now anyway so that goes in there but inside and then the screw screws into this obviously um, but this had come off inside the pipe lucky it didn't come off when it was running really because that would have gone round the system and blocked it up it's, uh, if we didn't block it up it certainly would have got stuck in the pump that's for sure 
So, you know, I took the old, I took the screw out, ready to bleed it, and then when I looked in there, I thought to myself, hang on a minute, where's the little thing? It was, well, it's falling off, and it was luckily sitting in the pipe here somewhere. So, this ain't no good now. I'm gonna have to buy another pipe. Which is annoying, but, um, so I've taken the whole lot off, this is how it is. I'm gonna have to go and over, order a new one now. Probably get a silicon one because there's less chance of it breaking again. But um, all that fresh brand new coolant that I had just put in, just bled through, is all on the ground now, so I've got to buy some more. So I've run out. Never mind. Never mind. So it's going to be out of action for a few days while I wait for the new one to come through. Well, that's it. I've tied it up. But now I've got to wait for the new pipe to come. Then I can put the rest of it back together. I've just uh, put things in their place so I don't lose them. Wait for a new pipe to come. Hopefully it'll be here next week sometime. Then we can put it back together. Sweet. Oh, I found the screw thingy. It's meant to go on the top of it. What a bastard. Who would design something like that? That's stupid. Then that's it inside there. And that's screwed in there. Like that. There's several things I could do to bodge it up, obviously. I could try and glue that back in there somewhere. Or I could just cut that and then cut that. And then put a bit of metal pipe in between and get rid of the blade altogether. Or I could drill a hole in the bit of metal pipe and then put a bolt in it. That's a blade screw. Could do that. Could bodge it up. But because I'd, I'd rather not, I'd rather try and do it properly. I've just bought an upgraded part. I've bought a silicon one of these um, with an aluminium um, bleed nipple. So, you know, it's not a bodge. I've done it properly for a change. But yeah, man, that's that. And then once I've got that and put that on, the Land Rover's done. Everything's. I've just got to do the van next. <whistles> tricky, man, tricky.